Welcome back to our two-week vacation in Europe. What you're seeing right now is some aerial footage of Ansi, a city in the French Alps that we're heading to. If you're just joining us, we're coming from four days in Paris and now taking a four-hour train ride through the countryside to reach our next destination. Through our window, we observed that the French countryside had a timeless charm with its picturesque landscapes dotted with rolling hills, vineyards, and sunflower fields. We're personally super excited to head to Ansi because one, their beautiful lake, and two, its legacy as a culinary haven. All right, we just got off of the station at Ansi. Now we're gonna try to find our Airbnb. Beautiful. Here we are. All the mountains. Okay. So we're in the French Alps. Our Airbnb was right smack in the middle of the old town in Ansi which meant we were walking distance to the lake and also to all the delicious eateries around. But first, we had to locate our Airbnb, which we had some trouble finding. After a walk up four flights of stairs, we finally arrived. Here's a quick tour of our small cottage. Our Airbnb was nestled inside a square, and right outside was the pub Le Coluc, which we decided to get some drinks at. I had a Paloma and Kelly had a lemon spritz, both very refreshing on a warm day. We start walking on the street and immediately see a gorgeous mountain and turquoise water, so we head to that direction like a moth to a flame. On our way, all we could do was marvel at how charming Ansi truly was. We're in Ansi right now. We're walking towards the lake. It is beautiful here. Wow. Picturesque. 7 p.m. Did you know, Lake Ansi originated from around 18,000 years ago and as a result of melting of the glaciers in the Alps. Today, it is considered the second largest lake in France and is known as the cleanest lake in Europe. Lake Ansi has earned its reputation as Europe's cleanest lake for a number of reasons. The lake's location in the pristine French Alps allows it to benefit from natural filtration through the surrounding mountains and streams, maintaining its crystal clear waters. Now for some authentic cuisine. We have our first meal at El Etage, known for its fondue. The region's rich dairy farming heritage and abundance of high quality cheeses make it a perfect place for fondue to thrive. We have a delicious cured meats and cornichons plate and of course, the main star, a hot bucket of creamy fondue with savory mushrooms. As you can see, Kelly is in her happy place. After dinner, we take a stroll through Ansi's Old Town, also known as the Venice of the Alps. Stepping into Old Town feels like stepping back in time, with its winding cobbled streets, colorful medieval buildings adorned with flower boxes, and peaceful canals running alongside the pathways. What better way to end the night than getting some gelato at Glacé Perrier? Kelly orders in French like a pro. So many flavors. The vibrant atmosphere of Old Town Ansi is further enhanced by bustling markets, artisanal boutiques, cozy cafes, and delightful restaurants serving more of that traditional Savoyard cuisine. We head back to our Airbnb and call it a night. The next morning, Kelly finds a cafe that makes excellent coffee. It was actually difficult to find a sit-down cafe with a skilled barista in France because they drink mainly espresso. But we finally hit the jackpot at Le Grand Vert Bar Sirocci. Once again, Kelly is in her happy place. Our plan for the day was to rent a paddle boat and have a picnic on the lake. But to have the energy to do that, 
we had to fill ourselves with delicious goods from the boulangerie. We head back to the old town to source out some fresh foods for our picnic. Kelly has an extensive list, which includes a baguette, honey, cured meat, cheeses, and beer. Here, she's procuring three different types of cheese. She doesn't mess around. It's finally time to get on that gorgeous lake. We rent an electronic paddle boat, and it was a very relaxing experience. All right, Kelly and I just uh, rented this e-boat. <laughs> Paddle boat. Bye. And uh, we're leaving the dock right now, as you can see behind me. Yeah, uh, Mumpy's doing the work for that mystery. Here are some intriguing facts about Lake Ansi. Lake Ansi hides remains of a Roman trading settlement dating back to the first century BC. Archaeological surveys have discovered submerged structures including ancient roads and buildings, offering a glimpse into the region's ancient past. Similar to other famous bodies of water around the world, Lake Ansi also has its own mythical creature called Bet du Lac, or Lake Monster. Though sightings are rare, locals and visitors have reported spotted mysterious creatures lurking beneath the waters. The sun finally breaks through the clouds, revealing more of the lake's luscious turquoise color. To start our night, we have a couple of drinks at a delicious cocktail bar near our Airbnb called La Quille du Coq. It's a quaint bar known for their mixed drinks and visited by many locals. A good tip that this place is legit. We visit the Old Town one final time for dinner at Le Chalet, which on theme with all the other restaurants we tried, serves traditional Savoyard food. I had the tarte de flet, that dish right there in the skillet, which is a traditional Savoy dish made with potatoes, reblochon cheese, lardons, and onions. Kelly had lake perch, which we assume were fish that came from the lake. We're about to get our car rental. Fia, right? It's this thing. Jeez. We got a Fiat. Oh, oh. oh and now we're gonna scan our QR code. Yes. Oh, and it's gonna open the door. Oh. Okay. We are leaving NC right now. Oh, there's our new Fiat. It's brand new. Kelly's checking to see if there's any damages, which there shouldn't be. Lumpy driving the Fiat. Doing a good job. Getting out of NC. Bye, NC. Train station. Tiny roads. Driving in France. Driving in France with a manual Fiat. Brand new car. Brand see, new. We'll see how they are. In our next video, we visit Italy and Switzerland. So stay tuned. <laughs>